Good morning. Good morning, and welcome to St. Luke's on this most joyous occasion of our Youth Sunday. So hopefully you will be able to put on the uh, garments of youth today as we celebrate and worship our Lord, beginning on page 355 in your Book of Common Prayer. Alleluia, Christ is risen. Almighty God, to you all hearts are open. All desires known and from you no secrets are hid. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Christ our Lord. Amen. <laughs> Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. O oh God, you have prepared for those who love you such good things as surpass our understanding. Pour into our hearts such love towards you that we, loving you in all things and above all things, may obtain your promises, which exceed all that we can desire. Through Jesus Christ our Lord who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. During the night, Paul had a vision. There stood a man from Macedonia pleading with him and saying, Come over to Macedonia and help us. When he had seen the vision, we immediately tried to cross over to Macedonia, being convinced that God had called us to proclaim the good news to them. We set sail from Troas and took a straight course to Samothrace. The following day to Neapolis, and from there to Philippi, which is the leading city in the district of Macedonia and a Roman colony. We remained in this city for some days, on the Sabbath day, we went outside the gate by the river, where we supposed there was a place of prayer, and we sat down and spoke to the woman who had gathered there. A certain woman named Lydia, a worshiper of God, was listening to us. She was from the city of Thyatira and was a dealer in purple cloth. The Lord opened her heart to listen eagerly to what was being said by Paul. When she and her household were baptized, she urged us, saying, If you had, have judged me to be faithful to the Lord, come and stay at my home. And she prevailed upon us. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our psalm is Psalm um, 67, as printed in your pew bulletin. May God be merciful to us and bless us. Show us the light of his countenance and come to us. Let your ways be known upon earth, your saving health among all nations. 
Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. Let the nations be glad and sing for joy. For you judge the people with equity and guide all the nations upon earth. Let the peoples praise you, O God. Let all the peoples praise you. The earth has brought forth her increase. May God, our own God, give us his blessing. May God give us his blessing. And may all the ends of the earth stand in awe of him. A reading from the Revelation to John. In the spirit of an angel carried me away to a great high mountain and showed me the holy city Jerusalem coming down out of heaven from God. I saw no temple in the city, for its temple is the Lord God, the Almighty, and the Lamb. And the city has no need of sun or moon to shine on it, for the glory of God is its light, and its lamp is the Lamb. The nations will walk by its light. The kings of the earth will bring their glory into it. Its gates will never be shut by day, and there will be no night there. People will bring into it the glory and honor of the nations, but nothing unclean will enter it, nor anyone who practices abomination or falsehood, but only those who are written in the Lamb's book of life. Then the angel showed me the river and the, of the water of life, bright as crystal flowing from the throne of God and of the Lamb through the middle of the street of the city. On either side of the river is a tree of life with its 12 kinds of fruit, producing its fruit each month. And the leaves of the trees are for the healing of the nations. Nothing accursed will be found there anymore. But the throne of God and of the Lamb will be in it, and his servants will worship him. They will see his face, and his name will be on their foreheads. And there will be no more night. They need no light of lamp or sun. For the God will be their light, and they will reign forever and ever. The word of the Lord. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to John. Jesus said to Judas, not Iscariot, Those who love me will keep my word, and my Father will love them, and we will come to them and make our home with them. Whoever does not love me does not keep my words, and the word that you hear is not mine, but is from the Father who sent me. I have said these things to you while I am still with you. But the Advocate, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you everything and remind you of all that I have said to you. Peace I live, leave with you, my peace I give to you. I do, not give to you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled, and do not let them be afraid. 
You heard me say to you, I am going away, and I am coming to you. If you loved me, you would rejoice that I am going to the Father, because the Father is greater than I. And now I have told you this before it occurs, so that when it does occur, you may believe. The Gospel of the Lord. May God be merciful to us and bless us. Show us the light of your countenance and come to us. Amen. All right, kiddos, come on down here. And come on up here, the youngins. You're welcome to sit on the floor or you can join Miss Drew or Miss Peggy over here in the pews if you'd like, either way. Come on up, have a seat. I'm gonna borrow one of those chairs, by the way. That's okay. Have a seat. Yeah, sit down. And sit, turn this way. Can I borrow a chair? Anybody else wanna come, young of heart? Wanna come and sit with us this morning? I have some things I want to talk about, and particularly there's one word I really want us to think about. And before I start talking about it, I'm going to ask you to do something, if you can. All right? You can use that one, that chair, if you'd like. I want you to think, close your eyes. Can you all close your eyes for a minute? Everybody close your eyes, and y'all too. And I want you to think about a favorite place that you go to or that a certain person or thing that brings you peace? Is there a place that you love to go that brings you peace? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is there a certain animal that brings you peace or a certain person? Do you all have an image? Does everybody shake your head if you got it? Got it? Mm -hmm. okay. What did you come up with? What kinds of, what kinds of places and things or people or bring you peace? Can you share it with us? Somebody's house. Say that again. Somebody's house. Somebody's house? Mm -hmm. uh, whose house is that? Dad's. What is she going to say? Somebody's house is very special. Somebody else? Say it loud. Oh, okay. Awesome. You can open your eyes now. Good job. What else? What else brings peace to you? Oh, well, there's that. Anybody else? Yes? Hawaii. You've not been to Hawaii, but okay. You dream about it, I bet. <laughs> I see what's on the agenda for a vacation. <laughs> what else? Huh? Say that really loud. A swing set. A swing set. <gasps> oh, I remember those days. What else? My cats. Your cats? Oh, yes. Does it bring you peace when you pet them? I don't even have a cat yet. You don't? I don't even have a dog either. Oh, well, we'll, we'll talk to mom and dad about that. <laughs> what else? Your who? Say that. Poodles. Your poodles. I've never had a poodle. They bring you peace, though, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Our our new little weenie dogs are fun to play with and pet, aren't they? Huh? Yes. Oh. 
you guys did a great job. But so you know what brings you peace. So what is peace? What does that mean? Well, how do you think about peace? Anybody? Calmness, Calmness brings a sense of calm. I like that answer. Anything else? Mm. Well, what does peace mean? Oh, I love that. A place where you feel at home. Do you feel at home when you're eating pizza? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Where's your mom? I want to watch this. <laughs> what else? My mom's way back there. Yeah. <laughs> we can work on that. <laughs> what, is it, what else does peace mean? Any ideas? Any other things you can add to those? So it's like, it, like, a peace like a peace treaty. So somebody steps in when there's a war or a conflict and they bring peace. Oh, I like that one too. Grady? Uh huh. Means they're calm. So, oh, you're acting nice to people. I love that one too. And siblings, your brothers and sisters, and. We won't get into that one. <laughs> yeah. I guess God could be representing peace. God could be representing peace. Do you know that in the scripture, in the Bible today, the lesson that we read that, that Miss Lily did such a good job on, uh, well, actually, that was the deacon that read that one, but talked about, Jesus said, peace I leave with you, my own peace I give you. The peace I give you is not what the world gives. It's not necessarily what the world gives. So it's something different that God puts in us. So it's that ability. So let's say that you see something happening at school or at home. Let's say there's an argument and you, instead of fighting with a sister, yeah, Oh, you did that better than I did. <laughs> did y'all all hear that? I was going to say something, but it wasn't near like that. Did y'all hear? Did you get that? What is another incident where God's peace would help you? Let me see if somebody else has an answer. Yeah? If my dog gets fighting, I'll be like, stop it. Yeah, making the dog stop. That's right, because you become a vessel. Uh, you, be, you let God use you for God's peace in the world that Jesus is talking about here, right? Now, I also want to tell you about it. Yes, ma'am? I think the same thing. Usually, it's like when we get worried and then peace. Yeah. What else, Grady? Did you have another answer? Okay, that is really great because here's the thing. Did you know that Jesus calls you, 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 everybody in this room to be peacemakers? That we are to listen to our Savior Jesus about being a peacemaker. So when we see some conflict or we see something, somebody sad or hurting, how do we bring peace to them? What is a way to bring peace to the world that God asks us to? Flossie? Hang on. Do something comforting. Give them something comforting. I like that. Yeah. Give them flowers. Flower. I love flowers. I'll give my mom a flower. I get hugs from this one when he knows I'm not happy. Yeah. future preacher there. <laughs> wow, I love that, Lily. That's great. Because you know, it's really hard to do that. When somebody comes at you, siblings do this too. They say, Mom, Dad, Grady did this, Grady did that. 
and you want to fight back, right? You want to say, no, I didn't, and you start arguing. But you could be, find a way to just not engage that, not be a part of that, but instead be a peaceful presence, yeah? Sometimes when mom tells me to pick up and run around, she goes, hey, don't be in my room and then gets her man and scratches me. Okay, I don't know what that was, but yeah, <laughs> right? <laughs> Y'all really kind of have an idea of this, right? Now, that was that peacemaking there? <laughs> no, she says yes, but brother says no. <laughs> so we got some things to work on. And you know what? So does everybody else out here. Just because we're big people doesn't mean we've got it down. That means that we, too, need to work on being peacemakers, right? So I'm going to leave you with a prayer, all right? I'm going to pass out this paper so that you can take it home and you can learn this prayer and you can say it with mom and dad. And if you don't know how to read, make them read it to you, okay? Because they'll help you. Here you go, sir. Thank you. Here you go. Grady, will you hand these out? Uh, this prayer comes from a, a man named St. Francis of Assisi who lived like 900 years ago maybe even longer. That's a long time, isn't it? And so we're going to say this prayer because it's going to turn us back when we're feeling like maybe not being a peacemaker. This will help us be a peacemaker. And if you guys know it, say it with me. I know it's in the prayer book, but I don't have a page number. And uh, it's in the back somewhere where all the prayers are. Somebody can find that real quick. We'll Oh, there's, there's your mom. She's right there. <laughs> Can you guys, huh? Y'all read loud, okay? Want y'all reading loud? Those of you that can read. I don't want to read. I love that. Reading is the best thing ever. I don't know how. Okay, here we go. Everybody, let us pray. Lord, make me an instrument of thy peace. Where there is hatred, let me sow love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light. Where there is sadness, joy. O Divine Master, grant that I may not so much seek to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand to be loved as to love. For it is in giving that we receive, it is in pardoning that we are pardoned. It is in dying to self that we are born to eternal life. Amen. Y'all have fun out there being peacemakers this week. You can give it to your mom or dad, okay? Thank you all, y'all did great. Okay, do you want him back? <laughs> Y'all have a song to sing, I believe. Somebody does.
Great job, guys. Great job. Let us now stand and affirm our faith in the words of the Nicene Creed. We believe in one God. Today we'll be using Prayers of the People Form 3 as printed in your pew bulletin or on page um, 387. Father, we pray for your holy Catholic Church. That we all may be one. Grant that every member of your church may truly and humbly serve you. That your name may be glorified by all people. We pray for all bishops priests, and deacons, Justin, Archbishop of Canterbury, Michael, our presiding bishop, Polson, our bishop, Daniel, Bishop of Uruguay, Tammy, our priest, and Bobby, our deacon, Robert and Beverly, our Iona students, and the clergy and people of the Diocese of Oklahoma in the diocesan, diocesan cycle of prayer, we pray for St. James, Antlers, and St. Luke's, Idabel, and St. Mark's Hugo. That they may be faithful ministers of your word and sacraments. We pray for all who govern and hold authority in the nations of the world, especially for our President Joe, our Governor Kevin, our Mayor Randy, and the Governor of the Chickasaw Nation, Bill, and for the leaders of the nations and for all in authority. That there may be Give us grace to do your will in all that we undertake, especially for those in our parish cycle of prayer. Darla Thomas, J. Page, and Ch Cherry Thompson, and Wes Thurmond. That our work may find favor in your sight. Have compassion on those who suffer from any grief or trouble. Mary Criswell, Joyce De Bauer, Mike Bissier, Maya Walker, Mel Beecham, Diane West, River Northcutt, Kelly Jo Pickard, Patty Buchanan, Doug Boucher, Marie Montan, Kyler Brown, Donna Albritton, Garrett Morgan, Melissa Morgan, Hadley Meek, Bill Yerby, and Terry Morgan, and all those who in this transitory life are in trouble, sorrow, need, sickness, or any other adversity. For those in hospitals, Louise Jarrett. That they may be delivered from every trouble. Give to the departed eternal rest.
We praise you for your saints who have entered into joy. Let us pray for our own needs and those of others. For those celebrating birthdays this week, Mary Ruth Barnes. For those celebrating anniversaries, Bobby and Peggy Sonke and Todd and Katrina Brown. Praise God for those in every generation in whom Christ has been honored. The altar flowers are given by Peggy and Bobby Sonke and thanksgiving for our many bless blessings, especially for the miracle of Lily. Pray that we ha may have grace to glorify Christ in our own day. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I give to you, my own peace I leave with you. Regard not our sins, but the faith of your church, and give to us the peace and unity of that heavenly city, where with the Father and the Holy Spirit you live and reign, now and forever. Amen. Please stand. The peace of the Lord be always with you. Peace. Great job. Peace. Peace. Oh. I need a hug too. You don't get one. <laughs> Good job, Lily. singing and wonderful uh, message to the children this morning, Brother Tammy. Um, I'm Christine Pappas. I'm the senior warden, and I'm so happy to welcome all of you, um, the regulars, the new faces. We love to see you all, so it's so great that you're here. Um, we are having a brunch right after the service, so please come on over to the parish hall and enjoy that with us. And also there's a, a vestry meeting that will follow the, the brunch, so get ready for all of that fun and excitement. It is a fun and exciting day indeed. Thank you so much. Uh, I'm going to ask our Sunday school teachers to stand so we can give them a round. All you Sunday school teachers, anyone helping with the Sunday school program? Yes. <laughs> These have been our faithful teachers that have showed up Sunday after Sunday teaching our, our littles. And our, we don't have anybody from the high school, junior high and high school, but they're also uh, faithful leaders for, for that age group. And so uh, thank you all so very much. There's ways you can support them. There's actually a list on the, the bulletin board out there for bringing uh, snacks. So you can commit to a particular week of bringing snacks. Please sign up out there uh, and, and bring them. We also give them to the nursery too as well. So um, that's one small way. Today's another way. Our plate offering today, that means any loose change, money, will go to the youth program today. So please give generously. If you want to write a check, just make sure you write on their youth. Otherwise, it'll go into the general fund. Any other announcements for the good of the order? Lots of fun things coming up as we're now entering into our summer months. Uh, I think, is school officially out? Yeah. Any excitement about that? Yeah, right? The pool will be opening soon. Well, the weather will cooperate. Uh, <laughs> so just keep your eyes open for announcements to come and for our summer. Come on in. Anything else? Walk in love. Oh, before I go there, about youth. So the fourth Sunday of every month will be dedicated to our youth. So the sermon will be geared toward that. And we'll once again have youth that will be helping to lead the service. Get the word out. Bring friends that have kids and 
show them what we're doing for our youth on that fourth Sunday any time, but particularly on that fourth Sunday. So thank you so much for being here and supporting them and worshiping with us together. Walk in love as Christ loved us and gave himself for us an offering and a sacrifice to God. We continue with Eucharistic Prayer A on page 361. The Lord be with you. 
and also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give him thanks and praise. It is right and a good and joyful thing, always and everywhere to give thanks to you, Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. But chiefly are we bound to praise you for the glorious resurrection of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. For he is the true Paschal Lamb, who was sacrificed for us and has taken away the sin of the world. By his death he has destroyed death, and by his rising to life again he has won for us everlasting life. Therefore we praise you, joining our voices with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven, who forever sing this hymn to proclaim the glory of your name. Holy and gracious Father, in your infinite love, you made us for yourself. And when we had fallen into sin and become subject to evil and death, you in your mercy sent Jesus Christ, your only and eternal Son, to share our human nature, to live and die as one of us, to reconcile us to you, the God and Father of all. He stretched out his arms upon the cross and offered himself in obedience to your will a perfect sacrifice for the whole world. <coughs> On the night he was handed over to suffering and death, our Lord Jesus Christ took bread. And when he had given thanks to you, he broke it and gave it to his disciples and said, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. After supper he took the cup of wine, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Whenever you drink it, do this for the remembrance of me. Therefore, we proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. We celebrate the memorial of our redemption, O Father, in this sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving. Recalling his death, resurrection, and ascension, we offer you these gifts. Sanctify them by your Holy Spirit to be for your people the body and blood of your Son, the holy food and drink of new and unending life in him. Sanctify us also that we may faithfully receive this holy sacrament and serve you in unity, constancy, and peace. And at the last day, bring us with all your saints into the joy of your eternal kingdom. All this we ask through your Son, Jesus Christ, by him and with him and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honor and glory is yours, Almighty Father, now and forever. Amen. And now, as our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever.
These are the gifts of God for the people of God. Take them in remembrance that Christ died for you and feed on him in your hearts by faith with thanksgiving.
Let us pray. Eternal God, Heavenly Father, you have graciously accepted us as living members of your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. And you have fed us with spiritual food in the sacrament of his body and blood. Send us now into the world in peace and grant us strength and courage to love and serve you with gladness and singleness of heart through Christ our Lord. Amen. The God of peace who brought again from the dead our Lord Jesus Christ, the great shepherd of the sheep, through the blood of the everlasting covenant, make you perfect in every good work to do his will, working in you that which is well-pleasing in his sight. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you this day and always. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray for community life and fellowship, for the love that you give us in this midst, and for all these things. We are so very grateful. Especially for the our bodies. Bless the food that we are to eat, the hands that have prepared, and bless the conversation around the tables. 
in this holy, holy day. We are so, so grateful. In your name we pray. Amen. <laughs> Everybody else is like, huh? What's the big deal? Well, that was beautiful. And I really appreciate it. Good. Good. Thank you, Jamie.